What up, players? It's Wolboss to have in this mud. Got a little unboxing today. Well, it's not really unboxed, uh, an unboxing because I got this off of e eBay. eBay for a really good price. It's Village, the Cursling. And oh, I saw it and I saw the price, and the price was right, son. So I bought it. Um, let me show you what it looks like, all the different parts. We'll put it together. And um, and then I'll talk a little bit about the fluff. So this is uh, the main body of the model. The fluff of the model is that this guy, Village, here, uh, was the runt of his chaos tribe, of his tribe in the north. His big brother was always the one that everybody expected greatness from and he was super jealous of him. So one day he prayed to Lord Zinch to give him a power over uh, make him better than his brother and stuff and uh, they they melded them together so now the brother is just this big um, automaton and he doesn't really do anything and his, uh, his brother village here is a great sorcerer now not really sure about the rules I'm just gonna start gluing the pieces together uh, this sword let's look at the detail on the sword fantastic the uh, this part right here where the blade meets the pommel and you've got this eight-sided star thing that's unbelievably awesome so he's kind of like a, a regular chaos warrior he kind of looks like a regular chaos warrior um, the armor is it doesn't cover his whole body uh, this is the part over here his chest looks like it burst out of the chaos armor here uh, so it, you can paint, you can do a really good paint job by, or you can do a really cool thing where you paint the armor and then show where it shatters and his, his hulking body is just like, you know, beefing out of it. Um, I love how they they sculpted Village like this tiny little mutated, um, you know, little eyeless creature. Ugh, it's creepy. Creepy his face. Zinch uh, took away his eyeballs and made it look like he's whispering into his brother's ear. So creepy. Grimdark. And he's got this huge shoulder piece with the, with the blade sticking out of it. That looks really nice. Village's other hand is holding the staff, so let's take a look at that. It's a staff of Zinch. It's got the eye on it. Zinch's all-seeing eye with some flames. And, um, yeah, really cool. So we're going to glue that piece in next. We, don't, we uh, want to make sure that it's at a pretty good angle because the last piece is the, um, is the left arm of the Chaos Warrior, the brother part. Look at that face. So creepy. Not even sure if I'm gluing it on at the right angle. <laughs> I don't have the the White Dwarf open to look at it. Or I mean the Games Workshop website. We're just doing it. We're just doing it, man. We're just doing it. Oh, wait. I'm going to leave it kind of open so you can see his mutated little body. I don't even know if this is the way you're doing it. This is a War Boss Tay original build right here. So I'm planning on painting this guy up just because uh, I want to do his armor differently than I did the other Warrior of Zinch armor. I want to paint it kind of like in a turquoise, turquoise color scheme. I think it'll look pretty cool like that. And here is the other hand that's holding kind of like a flail looking thing. So let's get that in focus. You can see the chains and that's great. So we'll have it kind of sticking up here. I love how the village model is like whispering either his orders, like what he wants Big Brother to do, or uh, some 
foul secrets. But the, the sculpt of Village's face is so great, like his jaw looks like it's really stretching. Um, you can see all his teeth. This is one of the, the better builds, I think, that GW did in fine cast. I kind of wish it was, I, I'll, I wish it was in, in metal, but it's okay. It's going to hold a little bit longer so it can set. And then, um, so what you would use this for is if you don't want to use him as Village because Village's points are, he's a little bit pricey for what he does, and, but he does have some special abilities. He is a powerful, super powerful Zinch spellcaster. And um, if you want to, you could also use this as a Lord model, like how I use Uncle Dr. Festus as a, like you could use that as a Lord mo model or as a sorcerer model if you don't want to use it as Dr. Festus. You could use this as a sorcerer lord or like a combat lord. It could really do be either because Village is like the sorcerer and uh, his big brother, I don't even remember the guy's name, is the, like is, is a good sized warrior lord. A uh, good size for, for like a Chaos Lord. So here's the model all built up. I don't have a square base. Crazy eBay doesn't let you, or it, that usually doesn't include bases with anything you buy on it, but um, it makes a great profile. Any angle you turn it, it looks really, really nice. And uh, there's a lot of detail on it. Everything from, like I said, the, the pommel of the sword. Let's look at the back now. Village is just really growing right out of his brother's back and he's got this almost like cape of feathers coming down here so that'll be really good fun to paint but look at this you can see the spine is all bony and um, his crest of feathers here in the back Zinch and his feathers man I'm gonna have fun painting it just gotta get a appropriately sized square base for it and then yeah we'll see how it goes so thanks for watching everybody this has been an unboxing of Village the Cursling hope you liked it